Hey guys, what is up? Carter here. Got another video for you. This one is on Cold Steel again. I am in love with Cold Steel this year and I don't care who hears it. Just kidding guys. Uh, well, kind of. I, I am really impressed with Cold Steel this year. I always have been a little bit of a Cold Steel fan, but uh, with their changes they've done, I'm more of a Cold Steel fan. And of course, I, I just really like Andrew Demko's knives, uh, things like that. And you'll be hearing more about that soon. But in the meantime, I have a couple recons for you right here. These are Recon 1s, 2015s. Both of them are limited edition. Uh, I may actually be selling this one, but I'll talk about that at the end of the video in case anybody's interested. I have a spear point in Coyote Brown right here, and then I have a Bowie clip point in the Ranger Green right here with the sweet Skull Emerson lanyard. Um, now this isn't really going to be a review on uh, Recon 1s. There's plenty of reviews on Recon 1s out there. I think I've done one or two in the past. Uh, this is more showcasing uh, these limited editions as well as the changes that they've done in these knives this year in case you're wondering if there's any other differences. And I'm an idiot and I'm down here in the man cave representing, but I did not bring my uh, old Recon 1. I have an old, a uh, couple years old. It's a Bowie style blade Recon 1. It's upstairs. I didn't bring it down and guess what? I'm going to roll with it because that's what I do. I'm going to keep this train moving. I'm not going to redo this video unless I really screw up later and then I will. Um, but you wouldn't know because that's, it's almost like time traveling. You don't know what I did because you only see the final video I put up. There's a whole story behind every one of these videos. How many times I redo them and redo them and F up and then I decide no, I'm going to keep it. And then I say, no, I'm not going to keep it. Anyways, back to the video. A couple of cool knives right here. Recon 1, uh, about a perfect size tactical blade. Uh, really nice stuff uh, for the money. I mean, these are, these are just excellent. And uh, one of the reasons I like cold steel in these knives is the triad lock. Oh, triad lock. You always talking about the triad lock. But I get so sick of dealing with lock rock, sticky locks. You know, steel inserts. Is this stronger? Is that stronger? Is this going to slip? Is this going to need to be replaced? It's like, enough is enough. Just get a freaking badass lock back and don't have to worry about it. Cold Steel fans do not have to worry about lock rock. They do not have to worry about wearing out their lock faces if it has a steel insert or not. Um, it's foreign to them because <laughs> this lock does not have those problems. And, you know, it's not quite as much fun to flick open and close. Um, as liner locks and frame locks are, and I like those knives, but sometimes I just kind of get sick of dealing with all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going through some Emerson drama right now with some lock rock and things like that, and I might have to send something in, and that sucks because you don't have to really do that with these. Uh, so, anyways, back on track. Sorry, guys. Uh, limited edition. So these are the only two colors I'm aware of that uh, the Limiteds are coming in. And so far they've got the um, Recon series, they've got the largest Spada in the different colors, and then they've got the, I believe it's the Counterpoint in the different colors. And, oh, I can't remember, maybe the Lawman. I can't remember if they do or not have that in the uh, different colors. And they may be coming out with more, they may not be, I'm not sure. But as far as differences go, other than this G10, you've got the CTS XHP Steel, in the new line, which is an amazing steel, by the way. And then you've got uh, a DLC coated blade. And yes, it is just the blade. The lock back uh, mechanism, this piece of steel right here, and the clip is the old Teflon coating. It is not the new DLC coating. It is only on the blade, and I believe the thumb studs as well, it appears to be. I've talked about this before, DLC coating. You may say this looks just like the Teflon coating. And it does. It really does. Uh, DLC coating is really just a micro film that goes on top of the steel and it actually uh, chemically congeals with the steel uh, down to like a fraction of a millimeter into the steel. So it's chemically bonded to that steel. It doesn't just sit on top um, waiting to be scraped off like the Teflon coating does. Uh, and you can see that with this design change. In old uh, recons Right here on the tang, which slides underneath the lock bar right here, uh, this used to be bare metal. 
because if they didn't put bare metal and they had the Teflon coating on here, every time you do this, it would start scraping off and you'd get all this Teflon gunk build up inside of your pivot and along this track here. With the DLC coating, it's not a concern. You can see how it is black. Even though it's scraping on this metal, it is black. It doesn't come off. It's not, it, you shouldn't even call it a coating. It's really not a coating. It's changing the chemical structure on the very, very surface of the steel. And so that reason, it takes on the um, characteristics of the steel underneath. So in this case, it's put on a kind of a smooth, I wouldn't necessarily call it satin, but you know what the steel looks like when you scrape off the Teflon coating. It's a very flat, semi-gloss kind of surface. And so that's what it keeps. Now, if you bead blast or sand blast and then DLC coat over the top of it, you get that matte finish that uh, like Spydercos have, kind of that low gloss type thing. And, you know, to be honest, I really kind of wished that's what this was. Um, I wish they had done that. I assume they didn't to make it match the existing Teflon coating they've used, um, so on and so forth. Uh, it's probably a slightly more durable finish to do it on something like this as opposed to the kind of matte finish. Um, I don't know for sure. But uh, the thing you'll notice with this DLC coating, if you haven't picked up the, the drift yet, is that it's not going to scrape off on you. You're going to use the crap out of the knife and you're not going to have pieces flaking off like you do with the uh, Teflon coating. That's good and bad. Uh, for people that like to remove coatings, you will not be able to remove this. So don't even try. Don't even think that you can buy one of these and start scraping it off with the screwdriver like you did the old coating. It's not going to happen. Um, it will eventually start to change color a little bit as it wears um, because you're actually going to start wearing off that very uh, surface coat or surface level of the steel uh, but it doesn't flake off it doesn't scrape off and things like that so as far as durability goes and protecting the steel underneath uh, this is a far super superior steel other than that the only thing I noticed between these and my old recon is a slightly slightly different pocket clip and like I said I wish I had grabbed my old one but it's really not a huge difference but you will notice uh, the other ones are a little more squared off on the edge here and it also raises a little bit more. Um, I haven't had any problems getting this into my pocket, uh, but it does have a slightly smaller gap over here than the old style. Other than that, it is the same knife. Uh, G10, same grip, same texture on it. Uh, aluminum, sorry, not titanium. Aluminum backspacer right here. Uh, Teflon coated spring mechanism right here. Same pivot, uh, same everything. Razor sharp right out of the box. Hollow ground blade, ooh, almost cut myself. Hollow ground blade, same blade shapes, same everything. Uh, just the upgraded steel and the upgraded coating. Uh, same great Demco design. So that's it, guys. Quick look at the Recon 1 changes this year. I really like this green. Oh, yeah, like I mentioned. Uh, so I've got this up for sale, I think, on Facebook. Uh, and I'll probably post it up elsewhere soon. Uh, if you're interested, it's basically new in box. I carried it one day. Um, just minor, minor use. You can see it's in perfect condition. Uh, limited edition, Coyote Brown, Spear Point. Only reason I'm selling is I've got these two. I've got my old one. I prefer this one, the color as well as the uh, the blade shape. So, But if it doesn't sell, it's no big deal. I'll keep it. It's still kind of cool to have on hand. Um, I like having you know, different examples of the same knife and stuff like that. All right, guys, I'm out of here. You take it easy. Have a good night. Have fun. Subscribe, like if you want to. If you don't, don't. That's cool. All right, guys, see you later.